In this video, I'll talk about network documentation. Network documentation can be created either manually or we could have an automated process such as software that scans the network and discovers devices and starts to populate information about what it discovers. Documentation for the network should be supplied to new IT employees so that they have familiarity with the network infrastructure and how it's been configured, what things are called, what IP addressing is in use, and so on. Network documentation might also be required when a security audit is being conducted, and it certainly can be helpful when troubleshooting network performance. Network documentation can also be based on geography, where it identifies different network sites and the site connectivity linking those locations, so the type of network link, the speed, any redundant links that might be put in place for fault tolerance, as well as internet connections along with their speeds. Now there might also be dedicated lease lines that link different sites together which bypass the internet altogether. Of course on the network we're going to have a number of different devices like servers, both physical and virtual, routers, switches, things like VPN appliances normally placed in a DMZ, a demilitarized zone, firewall appliances, wireless routers, Due to the nature of having a large network potentially with a lot of users, a lot of stations, and a lot of these types of network devices, we can see clearly that there is a need for network documentation. The thing is, the documentation has to be kept up to date. So really, maintaining this documentation is an ongoing task. The configuration of all of these network devices also needs to be documented. Now, there are some software suites that will not only scan the network and discover what's out there, but also discover some of the configuration settings for devices or allow you to input it manually so everything is stored in one place for your documentation. Every network device should also have a change log. Larger companies always have a formal change management process in place so that before a change occurs, certain documentation must be filled in, approval must be received before proceeding with making the changes. And so there should be a history of what's been changed by whom, when, and on which device. The placement of all of these network devices on the network is paramount. So when we talk about network documentation, sometimes a visual network map can also be very useful. Network documentation must also include the software protocols in use, such as network protocols including IPv4, IPv6. We should also have documentation that tells us whether we're using routing protocols like RIP, OSPF, or BGP. The specific network addressing that we're using, whether it's done manually or through DHCP, must also be documented and also the specific use of network address ranges. Now what that means, for instance, is that maybe within an address range, addresses 1 to 100 are for user devices, but maybe 101 to 110 are for network printers, and maybe beyond that, the rest is for other network infrastructure equipment like router switches and servers. And of course, Authentication requirements are part of network documentation, what is needed to gain access to the network and resources on it. So for instance, is single factor authentication used or is multi-factor authentication used? And in some cases both could be, where when you sign in with multi-factor authentication you gain access to different categories of data that you wouldn't see with single factor authentication. Network documentation will also stipulate naming conventions that are in use for consistency reasons. Things like server names, names for users, names for different types of groups. And as well, group memberships and role-based access control should also be part of the network documentation. This is especially important, again, when third-party consultants are coming in for troubleshooting or to perform an audit, and again, it's very important for new IT employees to get familiar with the network. In this video, we discussed network documentation.